Hello ladies and gentlemen, Potato Chief here. So I have something of a bit of a different Let's Play to do today. Uh, so I'm going to be playing a game for you today, but it's a bit different as I just mentioned. Uh, so, a couple of nights ago, I couldn't sleep. I was up until about 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I, was just, I was just basically walking around, going through my stuff. Just looking around, just as you do, you know, just having a look around on my shelf and looking at stuff. And I came across this. Uh, Metal Gear is, is a rubber rubber sword, right? Well, at least it looks like a rubber sword. It's a USB. It's a USB pen drive. So I was like, oh, I wonder what's on this pen drive. And I put it in my computer, I loaded it up, and I found my work from university. And part of that work from university is a game I made called Kidnap the Princess. Which is a reverse Mario game, was in concept anyway, where you're the bad guy in a Mario game, and you're trying to kidnap the princess and escape the hero. So I thought this is really fun. I I, I didn't I didn't even know I had a copy left. I, I I thought I lost it. I thought it was gone forever. I thought it was locked away on my old computer in my other room, uh, which I haven't used in about four years. So I actually have a copy of this game now, and I'm like, you know what? I actually want to play this. And um, so I haven't played it yet. I'm ready. I've been waiting to play it for you guys. So yeah, I just thought we'd have a little look at that. <laughs> Problematic as well. I was gonna play it uh, with the microphone here on the stand. This stand, which is broken, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I have super glue somewhere in the house, but I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna be holding the microphone, like I do with reactions, which is going to be a bit of an annoying one, but luckily this game only needs one button, one finger to play, because it is a endless runner with one button input, which was kind of the whole point of the game. But anyway, I'll, I'll, enough talking, let me show you the game. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, my video game, my game I created myself with these, with these hands, those two hands, and yeah, it's, it takes, this is a nostalgic thing for me looking back at this. Uh, let's just have a little look at some of the options and stuff before we start playing. So we have five levels, plus there's a multiplayer, so there's six levels in total. Uh, let's have a look at the multiplayer. Press, to, press space to jump. Uh, that is it. Seriously, that's it. Oh, okay. So just, just space button. Okay. As I said, one button input. That was the whole point of this game. Tap jumping. Yeah. Okay. So, so the whole idea of this game was to look like an Atari, like a really old like Atari game, and it's supposed to be like an endless runner. And as I said, it's um, it's a classic. It's a, a Mario Bowser reversal. You're supposed to be the bad guy running away from the good guy. I don't know if that really comes across, really, in the actual game, but in the story it did. So this is the first level. Man, this takes me back. So this is actually extremely difficult. Um, I've seen people... That was the thing about this. Oh, fuck it. I'm st flawless. Flawless run for the first level. Holy shit. Oh, this is the Pong level. <laughs> so yeah, I did a level based on Pong. Yeah, so basically the whole point is you're getting chased down by an enemy the entire game. No, no! Fuck hell. Yeah, so the whole point is you're being chased down by an enemy the whole game. And um, yeah, this is like... This is such a passion project for me. I really enjoyed making this game. Uh, it was a lot of fun making it, honestly. So, I mean... So we we had this we had this graduation show this grad show, which was essentially like a mini E three I guess if, in our oh level two complete, as uh, the Pac Man level anyway so yeah we we had like our own presentation where we showed off our games, like a mini Pax or uh, E three or whatever. Oh shit! Pac Man's gonna get me! Square Pac Man! Ah oh, fuck! My first death, my second death. But yeah, uh, this this was. <laughs> I showed this off, and it basically we had this thing for like two days, and it was constantly being played. People were constantly playing this game, and I was so proud of it. <laughs> it doesn't look amazing at the, when you look at it now. It doesn't look super amazing. I'll give you that, but it, I was so proud of it when I made it. Oh, shit! 
I love neon. I, have, I, mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed that because I've had a lot of neon type stuff. I like simplicity, I guess, because I like neons. I also like the silhouette look I'm going with with the channel at the moment. Ooh, that was a good pat. <laughs> so if you can't figure out what's going on, I'm the little red guy running away from the big enemies. Ah! The first level was a big like uh, character chase, like a big version of me chasing me down, and then the second gate, the second what? It's essentially you're running away from the the heroes. That's kind of the whole point. Uh, the second level was a p uh, pong paddle. Because <laughs> pong, you know, is a super, it's a very good hit. This is the hardest level in the game, by the way, is this one. Even though it's the third level, and I've made levels after this one. <sighs> like, the balancing wasn't very good. This one was, ex this one's extremely hard. Like, we got, so you got the, you can, there's like yellow pellets in the middle of the screen. Which is what, um, Pac-Man was eating, essentially. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> no! So, I mean... Yeah, so th this is a, this was the game I created. It's, it's a bit rough around the edges, but I really enjoyed it when I made it. And I, you know... It was a passion project! God, The ghost escape! Escape ghost! Hey, obviously, I'm getting chased by ghosts. This is Pac-Man. But we're the bad guys trying to escape Pac-Man. I guess. Oh, shit. I want to complete this level for you guys. This is the hardest level in the game. Like, I can't even do this, and I made it. I made this like three years ago, to be fair, so I don't remember like all like the intricacies and stuff. I don't even remember how I coded half of this stuff, to be honest. Like, how I coded the enemies to work and stuff. Oh god, he's gonna get me! Uh. Oh. No! Pac-Man! Square bastard! It was not actually Pac-Man, obviously. It's a square version of Pac-Man. Uh, yeah. Oh, I suck. Alright, I'm gonna go to the next level. Well, that's the multiplayer. So, yeah, it's the multiplayer. The unique thing about the multiplayer is that... <laughs> I forgot about that! That's amazing! Okay. So, the, the thing about the multiplayer is that it's... All on one keyboard or one controller. So we had an Xbox 360 controller and we had everyone crowded around it and they all had a button each. So it was a lot of fun. A bit crazy. Oh my god, this game takes me back. Oh my god. It's so nostalgic about this. I love this. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hopefully when this video goes up, there's gonna be a link in the description so you can download this yourself and play it if you want. Ugh. I. Uh, yeah, so I mean, there's a sad. Well, it's not really a sad story. It's just life in general story. Is that when I finished university, I went to did this course in this thing called the Prince's Trust in the in, in the UK. And if you don't know what the Prince's Trust is, it's a basically it's it it's for people of a certain age to get them started up, start their their own businesses. So I was going to start my own indie business, my own indie game business, and I was going to release this as a full title. I was gonna re like obviously work on it because it obviously is not finished. It's still rough around the edges, but yeah, I was gonna release it and then I was stopped basically because when I was doing this, I was obviously on um, tax credits. So if you don't want tax, this so it's like on, on benefits. Well, I was trying to start this company and they stuck me in a charity shop because they thought that'd be better for me, even though I had a degree in games design. So. Yeah, it kind of stopped me. It might stop my progress as a game designer. Uh, dead in its tracks, and then I haven't really got back into game design ever since. So um, yeah, sorry to bum you guys out a bit. Maybe I don't know, but yeah, you know, I love game design. It was my main passion. It's been my it was a thing I always used to do, always dream of doing since I was a kid. Uh, Mario has always been my my inspiration. Hence why I made a game that's exactly the same as Mario. Like retro, I love retro games. Shit, it's gonna get me again. But yeah, it's just games design was always my passion growing up. Like when, like in primary school, uh, they would always have the kids like going, "I want to be a footballer. I want to be a Formula One driver. I want to do this. I want to do that." And I said, "I want to be a games designer." And everyone looked at me weird. And that was like when I was eight, or oh, no, when I was like four or five. So this is like when the NES and the SNES was just a thing. You know, it wasn't really super mainstream at the time to be a games designer, but. 
It was something I was passionate about when I was a kid. I always have been passionate about it, hence why I did it in university. Uh, but, you know... I, I feel like doing Let's Plays has been more f enjoyable. I think mean, I would prefer playing games than making them these days, which is kind of sad because I used to love making video games. Uh, yeah, this is making me super nostalgic for that, the, that, that period of my life, which is kind of depressing if I think about it. But yeah, this is the final level of the game. So uh, this is supposed it was supposed to be a, the whole point of this is supposed to be like a vertical slice. If you know if you guys know video game stuff, a vertical slice is a shit. It's not it's not shit. Vertical a vertical slice is a small section of the game uh, for like demos for like for like a, a conferences and stuff. And this is what this whole point of this level is is that it's supposed to be designed. It was basically just for this is basically just a demo essentially. But it has seven levels on it. Because <laughs> I basically got a basic idea down and I just kept that into it. Oh, have I got him? Have I got it? Oh, oh I just realized it's going to get really hard now. Oh, yeah. The Matrix. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. Oh, my God. No. That was the last jump of the game. I think. Oh. So yeah, the, the blocks, the, t the light up, when you get to a certain point of the game, they, they, that, that was the whole point, is basically, you reach the end of the game, you're about to escape the matrix, so the, the code breaks down. Oh, come on, I want to beat this. I just really want to beat this now. Shit. I'm determined to hit this now. I spent too much time on the Pac-Man level, because this video is going to go on a bit long. I can always cut it down anyway, it's fine. Oh, shit, come on. Come on! Ooh! That jump is always a risky one. There's like 50 50 chance you're gonna muck that up. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna try and get this. In oh! This is the hardest jump in the game now coming up. No! Oh! Shit! You need to like know in advance when it's coming, which kind of is broken in a way. But it's the last jump in the game. Uh, that's the whole point. It's meant to be hard, I guess. But I guess if you need to be psychic to do it, then it's not really uh, fair. Come on! You can do it! Fuck! Why did I do that? Oh, yeah. I, I, I can't remember what I called him. I think it was like Evil Red and uh, Hero Blue or something. They were the characters were called. So I was just going to call it Red, but then Pokemon, the main character in the original Pokemon game is called Red, and the bad guy is called Blue, so. Which is actually kind of weird if you think about it. Oh, come on. Come on! Ah, oh, no! I'm getting worse at this! Oh, fuck. I want to beat this level. I really want to beat this level, because it's like, it's the final level of the game. But yeah, I'll, I'll try and get this up for you guys so you can actually play it. Uh... If you guys want to, if you guys have got a, 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 I'm not sure how, I can't remember if, an Xbox 360 controller should work. I'm not sure if an Xbox One controller will work or anything like that. But if you plug that in, you can play multiplayer with your mates as well. Uh, as I said, you get a button each. Or you could just use the keyboard, that works too. Oh. No! Damn it! Too late! You gotta leave it to like the last second. Ah. Come on, come on! I want to do this. I want to beat this. This is my game, and I can't beat it. I honestly, I should just leave it so you guys can see the end for yourself. Like actually beat the game yourself. Come on! Ah, oh, you. Let's see who's this asshole who made this game. What dickhead made this shit? <laughs> Come on. Oh, come on. Fuck. Fuck. This is a really hard game, by the way, guys. You might not be able to 
I make it look easy, apart from obviously I keep failing. But it's, it's designed to be precise platforming. I don't even remember what this song is from. Come on, yes. Too early. Too early! Oh, fucking hell! No! Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me in the ass. Two thousand years later. Come on. No! Yes! Fucking nailed it! Fuck you, bitch! It's the end of the level. Come on, let's do this. And there he sinks into the lava and dies. Which was supposed to look way cooler than that, but I, I outran him too much. <laughs> but basically, that was... So yeah, that, and then this is the end. This is like the credit scene. So... But yeah. Oh, beat him. But yeah, basically, the whole point of that end bit is he's chasing you. And then he falls into the lava and dies. You, bet you just about saw it in the corner at the end. But yeah, th that was Kidnap the Princess. Or, as you can see on the screen, Kidnap T Princess. I, 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 my camera's blocking it out, so it, it says the, it does say the. So, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this random trip down memory lane for me, anyway. This is a, as I said, it's a game I made in university four years ago. <sighs> Takes me back, it really does. Uh, it was a lot of fun, even though I got really frustrated and angry. If you guys want to play it, I'm going to try and find a way of sharing it for you guys. Maybe put it on Dropbox or something, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and until next time, faters. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Potato Chief, and I am a Pokemon Master. I'm one of the greatest Pokemon Masters in the world. I've even managed to capture my own Pokemon in real life. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Magikarp. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Magica! There we go. My goldfish. <laughs>